When I left school, I was actually interested in getting a job with, uh, with telecom, BT as it is now, um, but there didn't seem many vacancies at the time, so just as a stopgap, I took a job as a projectionist. However, I stayed with that until I did my national service uh, some six years later. It was actually my first week at work. Uh, I only started on the Monday. Fair Wednesday was the afternoon of the, of the same Wednesday as I started. And um, there was a terrific gale. And uh, well, we had enough problem. Uh, next to the Regal was the Bell Hotel. Uh, well, it was a flat roof, well, it is, I suppose, a flat roof building. And on the roof, there was a kind of wooden summer house sort of thing. Uh, and with this gale, it actually blew this summer house across the, the, uh, the place between the two buildings onto the roof of the Regal Cinema, which was uh, an asbestos uh, sheet roof that sort of broke through the asbestos. And, and there was daylight in the cinema, you know. It, <laughs> so what did you do? Well, we, we needed to evacuate the, the uh, and we got a local builder to come along with tarpaulins and covered it up because not only was there a gale but it was raining. Um, that was bad enough in a way, I suppose, insurance covered that. And, but the, the worst effect, of course, was because the fair was... Mm, do you remember where the fair was in those days? Where the Civic Centre is now? Yeah. All that area was, was uh, the Mon fairground. Monkey Island. Yeah, um, they lost all the canvas off every ride. <laughs> yeah, it was a big disadvantage really. I mean, even after we were married, I was still working in the cinema, uh, and uh, during the week we didn't see an awful lot of each other, did we? Because uh, we moved to Broughton by then. Yeah, we lived in Brompton, but I was still cycling to work every day from there. I, and as I said, twice a day, because the uh, working hours in the cinema, two hours in the morning for maintenance, you know, changing light bulbs and that sort of thing, uh, keeping the, the projection room tidy, and, and then obviously come back in the afternoon, showing films until quarter past ten. So, as you say, not much time for social life. Where, um, where would you go on a date then? Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Albert Hall was not used as a cinema after the, the, uh, my old boss moved out to the new Regal Cinema. Uh, but during the war it was used as a store, you may have heard about it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was used as a food store, uh, flour and sugar mainly. Uh, only trouble was that sugar works a bit like hay and uh, suffers from uh, um, spontaneous combustion. It can overheat if it's got too big a quantity and that happened. Um, our butcher at that time was Percy Brand, and of course you've heard of mm. Percy Brand. And uh, I used to come in the barns on Saturday morning and collect our meat ration. Uh, this this fire happened on Saturday night in the Albert Hall. This sugar cook fire. So when the fire brigade came on, squirted water everywhere on all the flour, and. Um, Butcher's Row, just a, at the top end anyway, was about that deep in dough. <laughs>